we have obtained the ABCD parameters of an ideal transformer and uh, now we are going to find the ABCD parameters of gyrator and uh, gyrator is a microwave element and we are discussing gyrator in this course because it is passive linear lossless to port element and it was proposed in 1948 by Bernard D.H. Telegan and unlike resistor, capacitor, inductor and ideal transformer, gyrator is a non-reciprocal element. This point is an important point. Gyrator is a non-reciprocal element. And uh, we will prove that gyrator is non-reciprocal after finding out the ABCD parameters of gyrator. Now I will give you the symbol of gyrator and this is how we represent a gyrator and you can see that it is a two port device and this A is known as gyration resistance and we measure it in ohms and this arrow is very important in the representation because we know that gyrator is a non-reciprocal element and to know the direction in which we have to transmit we use this arrow the gyrator is made of op-amp and RC elements and we can use it as an impedance inverter. By impedance inverter we mean if we connect capacitor at the output of gyrator then the input impedance will be inductive. Now in place of capacitor if we connect one inductor as the load then the input impedance will be capacitive. And this is how we use the gyrator as an impedance inverter. We know in general inductors are having the tones and therefore they have the larger size. And in VLSI designing we want our chip to be smaller and therefore we avoid using the real inductors. And therefore we can use the gyrator imitating as an inductor in case of VLSI designing. And the gyrator will work as an inductor when we connect one capacitive load like this. And uh, let us say that this capacitive load is having the capacitance C. And the capacitive load is having the reactance equal to XL. And uh, we know the reactance XL will be equal to 1 divided by SC. And let us say that the input impedance is equal to Z I N and the input impedance Z I N is equal to the square of gyration resistance divided by the load reactance and we know the load reactance is equal to 1 over SC so we finally have the input impedance equal to A square multiplied to SC or we can write the input impedance is equal to S multiplied to A square C and uh, we know that ZIN is going to be inductive therefore comparing with SL we can see that the inductance is equal to A square multiplied to C. Now let us move on to the calculation of ABCD parameters of gyrator. And for that I will consider this as our equation number 1. And uh, we know we can write the input impedance ZIN equal to the input voltage divided by the input current. And this is our equation number 2. And when we apply KVL in this loop we will have plus V2 plus I2 multiplied to XL equal to 0 and from here we will have XL equal to V2 divided by negative of I2 and this one here is our equation number 3. Now I will put Z in equal to V1 over I1 from equation number 2 here in equation number 1 and I will put XL equal to V2 over negative I2 from equation number 3 here in equation number 1 and therefore we will have V1 over I1 equal to square of A divided by 
v2 divided by negative of i2. Now I want to have the standard equations we have in case of ABCD parameters and therefore I will rearrange the right hand side of the equation and we will have v1 over current i1 equal to negative of a i2 and in the denominator we will have v2 over a therefore we can say that v1 is equal to negative of a i2 or we can write v1 is equal to 0 times v2 negative of a i2 current i1 will be 1 over a multiplied to v2 or we can say i1 is equal to 1 over a v2 minus 0 i2 and when you compare the two equations with the standard equations we have you will find parameter a is equal to 0 parameter b is equal to a parameter c is equal to 1 over a and parameter d is equal to 0 so these are the ABCD parameters of gyrator remember them and now I will tell you what will happen when we reverse the direction when we reverse the direction v1 will be equal to plus a i2 and i1 will be equal to negative of v2 over a and after finding out the ABCD parameters it is now very easy to show that gyrator is non-reciprocal we know the condition for reciprocity in terms of ABCD parameters. Parameter A is 0, parameter D is 0, parameter B is A, parameter C is 1 over A. And upon simplification, this must be equal to 1 for the element to be reciprocal. But when you simplify, you will find we have negative of 1 and negative of 1 is not equal to 1 and this implies gyrator is non-reciprocal. So this is all for this lecture and now we will move on to the homework problem. In the homework problem you are required to find the t parameters of this two port network and you know the process so try to find out the t parameters of the larger two port network and once you have your answer post it in comment section.